guys welcome back to little blessed nest my name is stephanie I'm so glad to see you here again this week um in today's video i am doing just a little project i told you guys that i was gonna paint my rolling pantry white so i have some clips of me doing that i think it looks really good the white really kind of set it off a little more i think it looks better than it did stained it was just a little too much going on over there with all the woods together so the white kind of breaks it up a little bit so let me know in the comments what you think if you liked it better stained or white which you know it can't go back to stained so i just you know just <laughs> curious what you think about it i hope you guys enjoy this video so I still have the rolling cart here by my fridge. So I gotta get everything off of it and um, I'm gonna take it outside and paint it. I haven't ended up using it the way that I intended to when I built it. I thought that I would use it to store my canned goods on and I do still have some canned goods down at the bottom. But after I moved it over here by my sink, um, I put all my spices on there and like dry goods and things and it really works out great for when I'm cooking right here I can just reach over and get the spices that I need instead of having to go over To my actual pantry and get them out. So I'm gonna leave everything on it that I have on it um, I'm just gonna paint it. I'm also gonna put beadboard on the back side of it just to you know dress it up a little more and my mom is actually at Lowe's now and she's gonna see if she can get me a piece of beadboard and put it in her um, SUV because obviously I can't get it in my car. <laughs> so if she's able to get it, then it'll be in this video, me putting that on there. If not, we'll have to wait until another time when we can get it in my dad's truck. Let's get all the stuff off of here and then we'll take it outside and give it a coat of paint. So she got the got the bead board cut at low. So you had to wait how long? About an hour <laughs> for him to come cut it. So I'm gonna take I this. It was worth the waiting than us trying to cut it. <laughs> That's right. So we're gonna put this on the back of this cabinet here. I'm really happy with how the rolling pantry has turned out. I love it painted white. I love the beadboard. I think it really gives it more of a cottagey feel. Um, and I really like that. I still want to get some matching lids for the rest of my jar so that it looks more cohesive. 
in my last video, I forgot to show you a little haul of what I picked up at the Goodwill. Hi, Bonnie. Hey, girl. What are you doing? You saw that I picked up this chair and I got it because I wanted something that Timmy could like just turn and sit down on and then turn back around and not have to push the chair in and out. So hopefully that will work better for him. He's got his hat hanging there <laughs> on it. And I originally, I intended to paint it black. Um, you can still see I still have my other bar stool here. I want to find another one like this one. You guys have a great memory because a couple of you actually messaged me and said I should go back by Mr. Butler's Antiques because you remembered in a thrift video that I did recently, um, they had a bar stool that was, pr I'm pretty sure it was identical, if not very close to this one that I picked up at Goodwill. And I, re I saw it, as I was driving by like a week ago, I saw it sitting out and um, I didn't stop. And then yesterday I went back to pick it up, see if it was still there, it was not. The chairs that matched it were there, but they sold the bar stool. So, you know, one day I'll learn when I see something that I really like to just go ahead and get it right then and not wait. But I see bar stools like this quite often, so I'm pretty confident that I could find another one that will match it. But in the meantime, um, I'll just leave the other chair sitting there. It's fine. Now, when I bought it, I intended to paint it black. But as I've had it sitting here, I don't know if I want to paint it or not. I kind of like it, just the wood tone that it is. Let me know in the comments what you think. I'll give you a closer look to it. I still need to wipe it down really good. I actually just brought it in um, yesterday afternoon. I know if I painted it black, that all of this detail would probably stand out more. But I don't know. There's just something about the wood that I kind of like. I don't know. Would you guys paint it black or leave it the color that it is? I really like it. It's got these little details on the bottom. Um, what do you call these? I don't know. <laughs> Another thing that I picked up was this tray. It was $1.99. And I really thought it would be pretty this fall. Looks like they're harvesting apples. There's some pumpkins there beside them. And I think I got some, I think I've bought something else that has this scene on it. I don't remember if it was a plate. I think it was a plate. But I thought this might be pretty on my hutch in the fall. So I'm going to put it away until then. Um, but I thought $1.99 was a good price for it. I'll show you. I will probably like just stick it back here behind my jars we'll see and then i also picked up this little i don't know what you call it a canister it was only 2 dollars and it was from the threshold brand um my husband's aunt brought me these pretty flowers from her rose bush so i put some water in here and just stuck them down in there and i thought it looked so cute like that very happy with it I also got a new cutting board. I took the sticker off and washed it, but I believe it was $1.99 also. I had someone recently comment and ask if I would explain how I decorate my hutch. Like, I guess what my thought process is when I'm decorating it. Um, and I just recently redecorated it yesterday. So I thought I would just show you what it looks like now. What I did to it. I kind of decorate it the same usually I don't alter a whole lot I'll just add in a few pieces like holiday related or season related seasonally <laughs> I guess I should say anyway let me show you what it looks like and I'll explain the best way that I can what I like to decorate my hutch with is white dishes thrifted vintage dishes glassware um, I like to use wooden items like wooden spoons or cutting boards um, anything like that I like to stack things I like to incorporate some brass those are like my main things that I like decorating with is like wood dishes brass glassware and greenery <laughs> I'm a sucker for those things those are my go-to's so I have this plant this is a 
pothos plant and it is growing like crazy as you can see it trails all the way down my hutch and now is going all the way across um, these are very easy to grow and then I have just some bra a brass candlestick my brass teapot and then this pretty glass jug that I picked up while thrifting and then I have this plant here I'm not in love with this planter that it's in but till I find something I like better it'll just sit there <laughs> This little glass bottle I just picked up at TJ Maxx last week and it was on clearance for $2. I thought it was really pretty. Pretty sure it says extra virgin olive oil. Um, but I just thought it was pretty so I set it up there. Um, my little platters that I have thrifted. All of the dishes on my hutch are thrifted. Um, and I put a platter on each shelf. And I just stuck my little candlesticks here. Some false graph plates. I, I stuck this platter here. I'm not sure I'm going to leave it because I feel like it kind of looks odd because there's not one on the other side. I'm all about some symmetry. It's very easy for me to go overboard <laughs> when I'm decorating my hutch. I just like all of my thrifted stuff and I want to display it all. And it's hard for me to like store some of it away and bring it out here and there. I want it all there now. So I've been trying my best to not have it so cluttered however i do realize that there's still a lot on here i can't it's hard for me to explain what my thought process is i don't really have one i just move things around until i get them the way that i like them i guess i do get some inspiration from other youtubers from pinterest i recently picked up this wooden box um at goodwill i think it was 2.99 you can see i just like layering things i like that and I like like having something to ground your items. So like this box kind of grounds the items that I have contained in it. So we have a layer, we have like, um, you know, texture with the napkin here. We've got a wooden item with the spoons. We've got white dishes. And then we have my cookbooks. I've got a few in here, you can see. And I just think this is really pretty. It's a pretty way to display, you know, a few different little items you could always find bigger boxes than this if you want to make a bigger display it'd be pretty on a countertop i'm thinking about painting it white and distressing it to make it look chippy like it already is but i just really like it right here in this corner and then here you can see that i have my main item which is this put some flowers in it and then grounded it with these pretty false graph plates and then there's another layer because behind there I have my platter. And then this little area here, I really wanted to display these pretty little um, measuring spoons, but I wasn't sure how. Uh, but I think they look cute laying here in this little bowl. These are pretty little um, bowls that I thrifted. They have little designs on them. It's hard for me to focus. I don't know if you can see it very well but I used this wooden cutting board to, I don't know, kind of give it another layer, another something interesting for it to sit on, just besides just sitting it on the hutch itself. I thought this was kind of cute. And then it's pretty simple on this second shelf. I just have some dishes stacked with a pitcher on it and then my glass canisters and some more dishes that are stacked. I've got the most going on on this bottom section, mainly because it's deeper. Um, that's one issue that I run into with my hutch. These shelves up here are not very deep at all. Um, you can see. So I can't really put a whole lot on here because it just won't fit. Like I couldn't put any couldn't stack any plates or anything. These are just small plates. I've recently been seeing people use napkins like this to fold and then stack dishes on. I thought that was really cute. So I went for that look right here. I took down the bunny plates that I had up here and just put some of my white false graph plates. I'm still happy with this little shelf. I occasionally still think about painting it. <laughs> 
Um, but so far it's staying the color that it is. This shelf here is pretty much the same. I moved things around just a little. Um, I stuck my grandma's cup here. I couldn't really find a place that I was happy with it, so it may not stay there. It's just there for now. And then down here is pretty much the same. I've got my fiddle leaf, some cutting boards. This is a little salt and pepper container. I think I got this at the dollar store, actually. It was very reasonably priced. I'm pretty sure that's where I got it. And then I just have some more plates and my wooden um, utensils and my um, electric kettle. This is looking a little overdone to me, a little crowded, but I don't know. I use my cutting boards all the time. I use these wooden utensils all the time. I use my kettle. The only thing that's right here that I don't really use is my plant and I don't want to move that either. So <laughs> probably going to stay like this. I did move this little glass pitcher here and put my wooden measuring spoons in it. I really like this Lazy Susan that I picked up at Aldi. I got the Lazy Susan and this pitcher there. These flowers are from Hobby Lobby. They're the same ones that I have on my pantry door. Pretty flowers. He wants some game too. I like this one. I like that peach hey, one. You like that one? Mm. Or do you like that cactus? Mm. Cactus? Yeah. No, touch I it. like these pretty ones. Touch Let me touch it. It's gonna hurt. Touch it. <laughs> it's pointy. It hurts. No, Kristen, don't. Why? It'll hurt. <gasps> Did it hurt? Nope. <laughs> Why is she so stinking cute? Are you ready? You ready for the song? Huh? Are you ready for the song this morning? Say happy Sunday. 
turn, Dave. Good morning, Tim. Well, good morning, Stevie Lou. What song are we singing today? We're going to do Blessed Assurance, or if you pronounce it right, Blessed Assurance. Blessed Amen. Assurance. Amen. Blessed Assurance, Jesus is mine. Oh, what a foretaste of glory divine. Heir of salvation, purchased of God. Born of His Spirit, washed in His blood. Well, this is my story, this is my song. Praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story, this is my song. Praising my Savior all the day long. Perfect submission, perfect delight. Visions of rapture now burst on my sight. Angels descending straight from above. Echoes of mercy, whispers of love. Well, this is my story, this is my song. Praising my Savior all the day long. Well, this is my story, this is my song. Praising my Savior all the day long. Yay! Good job! Thank you very much. <laughs> good job, good job. We had a request from Angela to sing the song, um, What a Day That Will Be. What a day that will be when my Jesus I shall see. And I look upon his face, the one who saved me by his grace. When he takes me by the hand and leads me to the promised land. What a day, glorious day that will be. There will be no sorrows there. No more burdens to bear, no more sickness, no pain, no more parting over there. And forever I will be with the one who died for me. What a day, glorious day that will be. What a day that will be when my Jesus I shall see and I look upon his face, the one who saved me by his grace. When he takes me by the hand and leads me through the promised land, what a day, glorious day that will be. What a day, glorious day that will be. Yay. Good job. <laughs> Thank you very much. Well, Angela, I hope you enjoyed that. And remember, we're praying for your family and sorry for your loss. She's, she decided to just take a nap, didn't she? Mm -hmm. <laughs> she always squeezes herself. And, well, she's like, Mama's talking to me. Let me get back up. What's she saying? She's talking about me back in the little hole <laughs> she always just squeezes herself into whatever little little pocket of space she yeah. can find <laughs> she does that in the car too she'll wedge herself in between me and the door well friends i hope you enjoy your sunday and and it's a beautiful day here in kentucky i hope it's just as pretty there where you are as it is here and if you will tell Steffi to go buy me something <laughs> Eat, eat, eat. That's all we think about around here. Mm, we like to eat. <laughs> How was that Cracker Barrel you had last week? They all said, take that boy to Cracker Barrel. I don't think they realized that we were at Cracker Barrel. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Some people didn't seem to pick up on that. But I did take him to Cracker Barrel after his surgery. You did go to Cracker Barrel. Yeah. What would you I get? You got catfish, didn't you? I did, I did. Yeah. What's and your it's... favorite at Cracker Barrel? Oh, the pancakes. Pancakes. <laughs> what you're not supposed to have. Yeah, but they're the best. <laughs> but, uh, Cracker Barrel holds a special place 
in my heart because it tried to quit at Cracker Barrel. <laughs> What am I talking about? That is. When I had a heart attack in 2014, at Cracker I had just come out of the Cracker Barrel. And you had not been back there until this month. This month. It been had been 2014, that's 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 20, 20 eight years almost. Even, you had not been set foot in there. You had not darkened the door. Is that how they say it? Darkened the door. You had not darkened the door of a Cracker Barrel. <laughs> I don't know. I closed my eyes when we drive back. <laughs> But you know what? Praise the Lord. There was a nurse that was a waitress there. And she come out and done the, the cardiopulmonary resuscitation. What? <laughs> CPR. <laughs> and then saved my life. That's right. Thank the Lord, huh? Amen. But you know what? What, what set it off was uh, two meals. I ordered. I, I don't think that gave you a heart attack. I can't remember what a... <laughs> I can't remember what I ordered the first time, but it wasn't right for some reason. So they brought brought you a brought, second meal. What was right? Yeah, they fixed it. But you ate them both. I just ate them both. <laughs> they won't throw that other away. <laughs> but it was I ate it even though it didn't. It wasn't right. <laughs> you still ate it. Oh my! I was full too. I remember waddling out. <laughs> <laughs> no, you just walking. fell over, huh? I remember walking out to the car. That's it. Boom! That's what he said. <laughs> That's what who said? The one that hit the ground. <laughs> oh my goodness. The Lord. At least you can laugh about it now, huh? They caught me. I didn't go down and bust my noggin. Somebody down. eased you down? Yeah. My old buddy Mike Farmer eased me down. All right. Well, thank you for singing for us another Sunday. I hope it's a blessing as you were. I hope it's as much a blessing for you as it is for me. <laughs> I really enjoy it. I'm used to singing with the piano, but. Sometimes it's just hard to work up the songs with the piano, and so we just decide to go without it on mm. some songs. And we uh, sang this one without music. I think sometimes songs sound better without the music mm -hmm. every now and then. I agree. Alrighty, well, I guess I'll take you to get some lunch. What a wonderful <laughs> day this will be. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to take a minute to thank all of you for watching, for all your sweet comments, and just continuing to support our channel. We appreciate you so much, and we hope you have a wonderful week. We'll see you in the next video.